G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and for today's video I'm going to take you through the character function, or char function, in AmScript, show you how it works, and give you a few examples of how you can use it in your Salesforce Marketing Cloud content. So starting off on the documentation page, which you'll find in the description below, you can also find it from the AmScript language guide on the Salesforce Marketing Cloud developer site, scrolling down through the AmScript function reference, and then all the way down to our string functions, you will find the string char function. The char function allows us to return an ASCII character based on the specified character code as the first parameter, then a section optional parameter which can be used to define how many times you want to print out that character. If you look down below, we can see in our function examples here, char 65 gives us the character A, and char 65, 3 prints out the character A three times. Before you ask yourself what is an ASCII character, you can find it out for yourself on the internet as well. I've got here the website ASCIIcode.com. I'll put a link to this in the description below as well. You can find here the ASCII table, which shows us all the character references that can be used with the char function. We can scroll down through the control characters into our main printable character set. Now, for example, in our example code, we had char 65 return to the uppercase A. Well, on the ASCII table, you can scroll down on the decimal value here and scroll down to 65, which gives us uppercase A. Perfect. Let's try it out for ourselves by jumping into Marketing Cloud. We can make ourselves a brand new test email. I've done that here. A new test email, just a blank page email template. We can go ahead and start to try out our char function by dragging in an HTML content block, and we can start to build out our code. Now to start with, we can try the example function shown on the documentation by printing out char 65. So we'll try it out by copying our function here, going into our cloud uh, content, percent percent equals char percent percent. That should print out the character A. So we'll try it for ourselves by going next. By rendering this against a subscriber, we hopefully find character 65 comes back as A. And it does. Perfect. Back into our content, let's make sure that char 65 comma 2 prints out the character twice. We can try that out and hopefully, yes it does, double A. Back into our content, let's have a look at our ASCII table and we'll find some different characters. What about the character Z? Well, we can have 90 as a character code for Z. Let's try the character code for Z as 90. So I'll go in here and go 90 and print that out twice. And hopefully you find the uppercase Z printed twice. And we do. So you might be thinking now, where can we use this car or char function in our emails and cloud pages? Well, back in our content, one of the things we could have to do is make some random codes for our subscribers. Now, a great example of this could be something like a multi-factor authentication, where you may be required to produce a string of numbers and characters for them to use as a code. And we can use our char code here to produce that string output. If it was numeric, we could do something a little different. So I'll start with numeric, and we'll upgrade into a letters and numbers one. To start with, we could write ourselves a nice little AmScript code block by putting our percent signs in our square brackets, and put in a for loop by saying for i is equal to one until 10, we're going to do something until the next i character. Now in our 10 character code set here, we could use our random function in math. You can jump into our marketing cloud documentation and find our math random function here. As you can see, the random function contains two values, the lower value range and the greater value range. Again, low and high. So we can copy that code, jump back into our M script content here. And we can say the set at rand will be equal to random from and to what? Well, starting from zero and going up until nine, it should give us all the numerical characters. We can then output that value using output uh, line and then printing that line with a V and printing out the random character. This should hopefully return back all of those, uh, or nine, uh, 10, sorry, random numbers between zero and nine. So we can try that out by printing out those random numbers Hopefully we get, there we are, 10 random numbers between zero and nine. That's of course the numeric version. What about characters? Well, we could do the same thing for uppercase characters by modifying this code. Go back into our for loop here. 
Rather than choosing a number between zero and nine, we could instead go to our ASCII table and choose a number between 65 and where Z, 90. So between 65 and 90. So we can go random 65 up to 90. And instead of just printing out that random character, we can instead go char to print out the character code of that random number. So let's try it out. We can go next and hopefully we get 10 random uppercase letters. And we do. Very cool. All right. So we can print out 10 random uppercase letters. What about for a password or a more complex multi-factor authentication code? Well, back onto our ASCII table, we have in fact three groupings on our ASCII character set. We of course do have our ASCII set for 0 through 9, character codes 48 all the way through to character code 57. We have our uppercase characters, as you can see here, starting from 65 and as we know all the way up to 90. And then our last is our lowercase set, where lowercase a is from 97 all the way to lowercase z at 122. So we could do one more thing to produce a random string of 10 random alphanumeric upper and lowercase characters. Going back into our code, let's make ourselves those three groups of possible combinations. So to start with, inside of our for loop, let's do a random number checker. We're going to set random number between one and three. Now, if the random number is three, so let's say if rand is equal to one, then we are going to show the first group. Else if rand is equal to two, then we're going to show the second grouping. And else we're going to show the third grouping and if. Now the first grouping of numbers is going to be an output line, output the character code, of course, and what it will be it will be the random number between 65 and 90, which of course is the uppercase. Below that will be our second character code set, and we can use our lowercase. Now our lowercase characters back on our ASCII table started from 97 all the way through to 122. So we can go between 97 and 122. Otherwise, of course, we can produce our numeric values. Now we could just choose to go random number between 0 and 9, but let's continue to use our char function. We can go back onto our documentation for our ASCII keys and find 0 through 9 is 48 through 57. So I'll say 48 through 57. That's going to be our numbers. And now we have, hopefully, three groups coming through from our random three function. Once that's all done, we should be able to close off our loop like that. So there's our if statement, first, second, and third group. Let's try that out by going next, and hopefully we get a 10 character long code of upper, lower, and numeric characters. We do have a number, uppercase, and lowercase. Very cool. We can expand this by making it more than 10. We can make this a very large string, making it 32 characters long. Go next. We should now get a really nice long string. There it is. And that could be a really nice complex code to use for a subscriber to make sure that they have the right token or the right code to use to access an authenticated page. And that's a quick overview and use case of the char function in AMScript in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you have, please let me know with a big thumbs up and a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.